What's up, everybody? I am Ghost Boy Colby. We're back here in Skyrim in White Run, and from the last thing I remember, we were about to go battle uh, the dragon from the beginning of the game, I believe, under the leadership of Irolith. Um, I'm not exactly sure where everybody is heading, but I'm assuming this is the general direction. I see a bunch of uh, little markers on the compass, so. I guess this is the general way we go. Maybe I'm supposed to be keeping up with these guys. Um, I think I think I was probably supposed to go through all of this on my way here, but I was so like uh, paranoid about everybody I meet being out to fucking destroy me. So I was like just sneaking around going places that I, you know, had no need to go when I could have just, like, followed the roads or whatever. Well, I don't, I, you know, this isn't, I believe this is not the way, but I don't know. It, is that your left? Or? No signs yeah, of any dragon okay. right now, but it sure looks like he's been. Yeah? I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, Ugh. spread out and look for survivors. I, I would like to, to just take happened. somebody's word for it. I wouldn't want to see firsthand. I barely escaped that motherfucker the first time, so I'm not excited to have another encounter with it. I mean, you guys seem to be very gung ho about it, but I'm I have some reservations. Uh, I guess I guess we're going on in here. Yeah. Western Watchtower. I love the design. The no, ruins. Get back. It's still here somewhere. Rocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. What happened? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. Let's save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Where? Find cover and make every arrow count. Where? I don't see it. Am I just missing it? Ah, it's right above me. Okay. Kill the dragon. Ha! <laughs> Good one. Fuck. What am I supposed to do? I don't- I can't get near it. I'm assuming that- okay. Maybe I, uh, switch spells. Switch spells. Because I'm assuming fire is not gonna be good against it. You know, just to- hold on. God damn it, I always press the wrong button. Uh, not restoration. Dragon souls are required to unlock shouts. So I have to kill this motherfucker first? Okay, I guess. Generate magic and active effects. Uh, okay. I. Oh, oh. Uh, surely I have more spells I can, like. Oh, okay. I can just hit. I need to just focus on the D pad and the A button when I'm in this screen. Items. Uh. Books. Frostbite. Blast of cold that does 8 points of damage per second to health and stamina. Sparks. So that does lightning damage. And I don't know if it's better to go with ice damage or fire or uh, lightning damage. I guess I'll try lightning damage. I'm assuming I, I, it might not even make a difference, but my first assumption is that fire on a dragon is stupid. But it might work. I'm just making assumptions here. All right, so let's go back to magic, destruction, and learn sparks. And then, actually, that needs to be right. And then restoration, healing, left. There we go. Probably not doing anything. Alright, I 
think I do have a potion of minor magicka, so. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm focused. You know what? This is actually pretty cool. Okay. We're literally fighting a dragon. That's very badass. Minor Magica. For all I know, he's probably already killed Irolath with my luck. I'll save one. We've almost got him. Irolath's still alive, I'll be damned. I mean, I, I wasn't doubting her, it's just, he was giving everybody a fucking face full of that, of <laughs> that, uh, fucking fire. Sorry for all the F-bombs, I'm kind of struggling to find stuff to say. White run guards. Eh, I don't know if I'll take that. My carry, carry weight is definitely up there. Steel arrows. Dragon bone sounds useful. Uh-oh. I gotta get rid of something. Uh I don't know what I will. Minor blocking. Foot wraps, fur boots, fur... Uh, I guess I can just drop a lot of this junk, right? Got, I've got decent armor, I guess. So, so where? Where am I storing it? Uh, hide boots. Yeah. Hide armor, I guess I'll keep it to sell it. But get rid of the first shoes, the foot wraps. Iron shield. I need to sell. That that needs to be like my first priority whenever we get back to white run. If we do get back. I'm not I mean besides killing the dragon, I'm not sure what all we're doing. Oh, I'm storing them in the dragon. Okay, I see. Didn't quite realize I could do that. Um, so I, I can take the this armor, but I don't I don't really want to. I'll literally be maxed out on weight. Ooh, what is what's all that? Am I getting a dragon soul? I don't what what was all that? Ooh, yeah. Use the shout section of the magic menu to equip your unrelenting force shout. Uh, okay. Let's, hold on, let's equip that. Magic. And then, shouts. Your voice is raw power. Pushing aside anything or anyone who stands in your path. Okay. Let's, uh, try it out. Oh? Do I not have to... Oh, it's the right, right bumper. And not the, uh... That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in. I I've can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. I don't know about this Dragonborn business. 
in the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I mean, I guess I did just kind of suck his soul. I don't, I don't know what happened to me, man. Uh, yeah, I. You may be right. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According At to you? the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragon. Uh, okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them, like old Tiber Septim said. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They are just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who can kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Irina? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irina. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <clears throat> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon. And that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. Okay, so you she really understand. doesn't give a fuck if I'm dragonborn or not. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. Yeah, she doesn't I'd really care if I'm all dragonborn. To trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are dragonborn, then. Well, you know, I guess so. Because I did, you know, literally suck his soul. And they say that only dragonborn could do that. So, what, do, what, what now? What do we do now? Huh? Uh, you're I'll take you on command here for the moment. You head you back sure to White Rock and dragon. let the Jarl know what Dragonborn or not, that's good enough for me. I can't believe we actually killed a dragon. Yeah. All right, so where do we? Uh, let me check the map. And I do have a level up, so I guess okay. Report back to Yarl. So I'll just uh, quick travel back there. But first, I'm gonna do my level up. Okay, Magicka, health or stamina. Um, I'm probably not gonna focus on stamina too much. I might do it every now and then, but considering I'm just using my magic and my health, I don't, I don't see how it's really relevant to my playstyle. Um, so magicka or health? I'm thinking I'm leaning towards magicka, but I think I'd better go for health. Yeah. And then, okay, destruct. Is there like a... Alchemy. What is that? An alchemist can create magical po er, potions and deadly poisons. I like that. School of illusion involves manipulating the mind of the enemy. This skill makes it easier to cast spells like fear, calm, and invisibility. Alright. The school of conjuration... Gun gun governs raising the dead and summoning creations from oblivion. This skill makes it easier to cast spells as well as soul trap and bindings. Hmm, maybe? Uh, restoration. That actually sounds pretty... Pretty useful. So, I'm thinking... I think we go with... Uh, restoration. Yeah. Do I have, uh, I only have the one level up, yeah, okay. My skills. Okay, so now we just, uh, quick travel on back to White, White Run. It's really hard for me to say that name. White Run. White Run. Uh, yeah, okay. That was cool. Slayed me a dragon. Uh, 
sorry if I'm at a like a loss for words pretty much. I uh did it. You killed the dragon. We're I sure did. no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. What in the world? We will be back. This is not over. Huh? You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. D yeah, who are a you woman, looking for? A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She's left? likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Run. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Uh, why are you It's none of your concern. Person? All you need to know is that we're paying for information. I would disagree. Depending on who it is, I might or might not be inclined to help you. If it's your left, you can fuck off. There's been talk amongst the gods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure a lot of the NPCs are gonna have stuff to say to me. I'm not really concerned about it. What I am concerned about is finding someone to trade with. Finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. Oh yes, hunting is my great passion. That's why nice. my brother and I opened a shop to sell hunting supplies. It's the drunken huntsman down by the main gate. He tends the store, Whoa. and I've got this stall. Spare a coin for a fellow Nord. <sighs> Take a look. Okay, so this is just food. All right, specifically. Um, good. Thank you. Good hunting. All right. So this I'll find a more charitable soul. No, I'm not really concerned with that. So this is store Arcadia's cauldron. Bellathor's general goods. I could probably trade here. I bet. I just I need to sell some stuff because I need to be able to carry a lot. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. But anyways, as I, know, I might have it as, away. as I was starting to say earlier, uh, I had a lot of difficulty trying to get this episode set up right in the beginning because I guess the Ethernet cable was ev ever I so slightly. You're a discriminating customer, perhaps you're a wealthy one too. Hmm? All right, shut up, dude. Uh, I was, I guess the Ethernet cable was ever so slightly not connected just right or something. And because of it, when I tried to stream, I was having more issues with the fucking video and audio. And it just seems like... Uh, it's so irritating. Because it seems like everything just suddenly wants to decide to stop working. Even though it works just fine. It's like everything goes fine. And it's suddenly like, lol, nope. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, if I'm at a... If my... Uh, Commentary is a little lackluster in this episode. That's kind of why I'm still trying to get over it, I guess. So, yeah. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Okay, I don't really agree with that, but, uh... How's business? What brings in Breton to Skyrim? I guess, how's business? Interesting, to say the least. But with all that's been going on, on the Not one that. hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well, elevated prices. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. Is that what they call the gold? Isn't it obvious? By the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. <laughs> That's ah, but some without sarcasm. a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. All right, dickhead. Easy with that. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. All right, so um, I'd rather sell you stuff. Uh, I don't want this battle axe. 
And what else do I not want? I don't want a lot of this. Steel battle axe. Yeah, let's let's avoid any axe weapons because while they are powerful, uh, they are really hard to swing. So I'm just trying to. If I do keep weapons, I want to keep them sticking to like daggers and bows and stuff, or daggers, swords, and bows. Um, any big bulky weapons, I definitely want to get rid of. And on that note, um, seems like the Imperial Sword and the Steel Sword have the exact same stats, it's just they have different values. So I think I'll keep the Steel Sword and sell the Imperial Sword. Um, the Hunting Bow and the Long Bow. I'm sure the Long Bow can shoot long further distances. I'll, I'll hold on to both of them and keep all those arrows, uh, four iron daggers. Steel dagger is a little stronger, so I'll sell all the iron ones. All right. That's a good amount of, or I hope at least, that's a good amount of carry weight opened up. Iron shield. Just in case I ever want to switch back to melee, uh, like, combat. Sorry, I drew a blank there for a second. Just in case I do want to switch back to melee combat, I think I'm going to hold on to, su like, maybe one or two shields. Just in, just in case, I guess. That one's got a pretty damn good value. Hide shield. Uh, I'll get rid of that, because that, that one just sucks. And then maybe get rid of the iron shield. 24 armor, 121 value. Let's see, I guess... Yeah, get rid of the iron shield. And then... Uh, let's see, I don't want to sell any of that. Keeping the food. Ingredients. I don't. I don't really know what to do with those. Let's see. I think we are good as far as that stuff goes. Now, uh, there's all the weapons I just sold him. Iron go Iron Great Sword. Regular Iron Sword. Okay. Circlet of Minor Destruction. Destruction spells cost. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that costs more than I can afford. All right. Hide armor. Necklace of water breathing. Ugh. Costs more than I can afford. Okay, I should probably stop looking in here. Because this stuff's really expensive. Yeah, this, this stuff's really expensive. Cure disease. Let's go with, uh... Let's take a magicka potion, and then a healing potion. And then, uh, I think I'll be good. Nightingales, factor fiction, fiction, courage. Target won't flee for 60 seconds and get some extra health and stamina. No, I'm good. Okay, I think... That's all I'm interested in buying. Yep. All right. Do come back. Yeah, he didn't really sound too eager to actually have me back. I, I don't know why. That tone of voice just didn't sound very uh, welcoming. All right. Anyways, let's get back to the Earl. I ain't done enough. Oh. Um. I have been meaning to bring this up. You tried mercenary work. Uh. I can't really figure out a good way to transition the topic to it, but the question I have for everybody is, do you guys think I should buy Final Fantasy XII? I do have some money, and I'm thinking about just getting like one, maybe two games, but uh, my Final Fantasy collection is just about complete. I'm not getting 11 because uh, 
I'm just not interested in playing more than one Final Fantasy MMO, and I already have Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I think I need to uh, start my subscription again or something. Either way, I, I do have it, and I'm, I'm just not really interested in playing XI. But aside from that, really all I need are Final Fantasy XII, X, X, well, I kind of have X and X too, but uh, by twelve, I'm referring to the remastered version of twelve, which is the Zodiac Age that fixed the job system and everything the way it should have been. Um, it's basically a localization of a different remaster that came out years before in Japan. But uh, my question to everybody is if you think I should buy that. Uh, recently, I just. Like, just a few hours ago, I watched Star Wars Episode here. 1, The Phantom the Menace. Well, y'all can hold your damn horses, alright? Uh, but I watched Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, and I really liked it. I've been meaning to get into the Star Wars, uh, franchise for a while, but it just seemed so intimidating. I didn't know where to start. People are very divided on which movies they like, which ones they don't. So, I'm just starting it the way I want to start it, and I'm starting with the prequels, just because I want to. Uh, I really liked Phantom Menace. I mean, Jar Jar was annoying, but other than that, good movie. The music was amazing, the performances were good, um, and the special effects were awesome. I mean, some of the, the monsters looked pretty fake with their CGI, but overall, like when it came to the battle effects and everything, it looked good. So, you know, you can't hold some slightly fake-looking monsters against a movie that was otherwise great. <laughs> but, if you didn't know, Final Fantasy XII takes a lot of influence from the Star Wars series. Specifically, I would say pretty much The Phantom Menace. Um, well, in terms of the actual pacing of the movie, in terms of the actual plot, it takes, it takes more from the original trilogy. But, yeah, I've just, you know, I guess at the end of the day, it's my decision, but I'm really indecisive with this stuff, so that's why I'm just asking in this video what you guys think I should do, as far as that you goes. heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. What about the we Greybeards? We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Yes, sir. Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. Turns out I may be something called Dragonborn. Mm -hmm. I killed the dragon. I think I deserve a reward. Um, It's probably important that I mention that I'm Dragonborn, so... Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. Greybeards really were summoning you. What? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Oh, uh, yeah, what the do they want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. Uh -huh. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. Excuse if that voice really crack, by the way, Dragonborn, it's sold separately. They can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? Yeah. That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Uh, Runga, uh, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, oh, I are. don't see any signs of him being this what dragon ball nor nonsense why you puffed up ignorant these are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the first empire prongar don't be so hard on avanichi i meant no disrespect of course it's just that what do these graybeards want with him <laughs> that's what that's i just the asked graybeards business not ours Whatever happened when you killed well, that dragon? If they dragon, weren't summoning me, then who? Revealed something uh, in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? 
You'd better Fair get point. up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. Sounds like it. I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? No, sir. High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. That's what I'm planning You've to do. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest Ooh. honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl. Who's and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. What? I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? Holy hell. We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Well, thank you very much. I'm honored that you're honored. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. So angry, you hardly stand. So who's 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 Lydia? I don't, I don't know who Lydia is. What's going on? Don't cast your fancy magic someplace else. Fuck off. Who are y'all? All you ever do is complain about what you want. You're around is rubbish. We should be taken to fight to the storm cloaks. Well then, go fight the storm cloaks. Don't bitch to me about it. What are we all arguing One about? Of the new servants. Remember that I like my meat rare. Excuse me, I ain't no fucking servant. You're lucky I don't want to start shit. Otherwise, I'd give you a face full of lightning. Dragon's Reach, Great Porch. Uh, Dragon's Reach, Jarl's quarters. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Oh, oh you're Lydia. has appointed me cool. to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. I'm a Thane. What does that mean? You know, that's that's <laughs> definitely my first question. I have no idea what a Thane is. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold, a hero. Hmm. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Ooh. Well, what is a house call? As my here? fane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Okay, so I guess Jarl is. I mean, obviously, it's above house. Uh, both house Carl and Thane. I guess Jarl is like the Thane of Thanes. Lead the way. Oh, come on. Oh. Okay. <laughs> if we go, and I guess we go. Follow me. I don't exactly know where we're going. I mean, I'm assuming, you know. I'm hoping there are like some side quests to do and stuff. Settling in. There's a house for sale. Freeze home. You should talk to the steward up in the keep if you're interested. Steward of the keep. Uh, what keep? I don't. I don't know where you're talking about. What's this? Am I? Am I allowed? I guess. I guess I'm going in here. All these voice cracks are sold separately, by the way. They don't come included. Are those two added again? Watch the eye. Kill her. Okay, I might not should have came here. Might not. I, you know. Just uh. Let's 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 leave. Looks like some kind of fight club. That's a joke, by the way. I I don't think it's a fight club. I just think a fight broke out. I don't. Uh, what I want to do is figure out how to buy a house. You mercenary work. Then again, I probably shouldn't. I spend a lot of time. 
Because honestly, I doubt I have enough money to buy a house. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life. But I'm I'm trying to figure out what keep he was talking about. The bannered mare. I guess that's some kind of pub or something. Bellathor's general goods. I've already been there. Kitty's cauldron. That's somebody's house. Damn those cravings to oblivion. They want to back the storm close. Drunken Huntsman. Breeze Home. Okay. Requires key. Uh. Alright, so what keep was he talking about? Drunken Huntsman. War Maidens? I don't. Guard barracks. I don't know what I'm looking for. Alright, I'm assuming, yeah, that's somebody's house. I'm just exploring, man. You saw this house? Bellathor's general goods. I guess that's the back door or something. Okay, Dia's Cauldron. Look, man. Maybe it's on the map? Maybe not. Starting to look like it's not on the map. Let's just, like, go to the very entrance. And see if we can find what we're looking for from here. Oh. I was already basically there. I'm... Apparently, I'm dumb. I just don't... I don't know who I'm looking for to talk to. Because I'm, I'm not... Look, I'll be honest, I'm just really not interested in going forward with the main story anymore. For Like, for right now. I just want to figure out... It seems like we have some options open to us, and I want to explore them before just plunging back into the into the story what's this all of the dead that doesn't sound like somewhere I need to be okay I already I already checked that I don't know why I looked at it again yes I do hear all of my own voice cracks that doesn't mean I can stop them I'm as much of a victim to them as you are hearing them. All right. Well, I spend honestly, a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I think I'm probably out of time. Temple. Huh. I'm just really Old trying to find. Fuck off about my magic. Damn those cravings to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks. Said to talk to somebody in some key. Well, hold on. Let's see if we can talk to this guy. Gray mane or battleborn? Oh. Excuse me? Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Grey Mane or Battleborn? I guess... But I, I, I don't know what you're asking. New in town, huh? White Run's got two clans, both old and both respected. Difference is, the Grey Manes turned their backs on the Empire, and we Battleborn stayed loyal. So I'll ask again, Grey Mane or Battleborn? I'm not picking sides. Sooner or later, we all have to choose a side. More bad blood between the houses. Fralia is convinced our family is somehow at fault for the loss of their son. There's no reasoning with these people anymore. Uh. Long live the Empire. Right. Okay. 
that still doesn't answer my question of who the hell I talked to about buying a house. You, you there. Gotta keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. Alright, the Storm cloaks, Imperials, yeah. dragons. Ain't no matter to me what I kill. Let them come. Rorikstead's a nice enough little hamlet, but a boring posting for a guard. You couldn't possibly be the dragonborn of legend. If we kill the dragon once, we can do it again. I used to be an adventurer like you. <laughs> and I took an arrow in the knee. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to disrespect find that. The law and you disrespect me. I wasn't be expecting to find that line. And not out in Riverwood. These poor sods don't even have a ward. What? The blade, you should talk to Adrian at the forge. No, I don't need a out fighting blade. dragons, and what do I get? I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Thinking of settling in? There's a house for sale. Please home. home. You should talk to the steward up in the keep if you're interested. So, do I go back up in there? Is that where I go? Because if so, I didn't know. No, I'm not playing in third per person mode. That was an accident. Need supplies? See better I just wanted to see what he'd say. Alright, so. I'm at. Uh, I'm not sure how long this episode is so far, but I might. Might let it run a little long. Because I'm interested in getting a damn house. What. What steward am I supposed to be talking to? Where are they? Come to Dragon Assuming it's not you. to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Okay, I'm assuming the person that I'm thinking of is not in here. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. All right, what I swear, it? the next motherfucker that says that. Staying safe, I hope. Is gonna get a fa face full of lightning. Need something? Uh, no, I'm good. I've got my eyes on you. Everything's all right. I guess. My cousin's out fighting dragons. And what do I get? Guard duty. Yo, you. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. I need five thousand gold. Shit. Okay, so I didn't know it was him. When they said steward, my first thought wasn't Proventus. All right. Um, I'm looking for work. And he leaves. The Arl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Kill the bandit leader located at Redoran's retreat. Sure. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. I need more gold. Come, Lydia. We have a goal now. Which, um... I think I'm actually gonna do that in the next episode. Sorry I didn't really have a lot to talk to talk about in this episode. Uh, like I said, I was trying to get over the frustration of trying to get the episode set up. And, uh, all I really had to talk about besides that was just whether or not I should buy Final Fantasy XII. Uh, the Zodiac Age, by the way, not original Final Fantasy XII, because the job system is basically broken Damn, in that. To oblivion. Not, not necessarily broken, but a lot, you know, nowhere near as good as it is in the remaster. So... Yeah, I guess in the next episode, we're gonna try and gather up some money for me to be able to buy a house. Because I, you know, I want to get more into the options that let you get immersed into the world. That don't necessarily have to do with just chasing down the main story. Because uh, either way, this game's gonna take forever for us to beat anyways. Why not just take the scenic, scenic route? Live a little. <laughs> That's the way I see it. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I guess things are going pretty well. <laughs> They're going a lot better than they were, I don't know, like two episodes or so. That's what it feels like at least. But, um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say, really. Um, I just dropped my controller. 
Okay, that's probably a sign that I should stop. But, uh, probably gonna do Bioshock after this. Um, if I have anything else to say, I'll probably put it in the description of the video. I don't know yet, I'll have to decide. But, uh, yeah, that's really all I got. Until the next video. Peace.